Okay, so now I'm gonna load up Mega Man X4 patched and I'm doing a little recording of it and do a little test and check it out. So we have Tony Hex. There it is, it's loading. So here we go. So, all right, we've loaded up. All right, so let's see. My volume is sort of low. Let's bring it up a little bit. To the yellow section? Okay. So there it is. There it is, people. I think I've got my setup. Again, I'm using the Elgato Video Capture. Just the regular... Um, composite cable so the console is connected here and then the trick is that I have the software opened up and then uh, full screen and then in OBS I'm capturing the display And the audio is coming through from the desktop. Yeah, two channels, left, right. So there, there you can see it. So this should work. This should be fine. I should be able to... I don't know what I want to do. I don't, maybe I want to do some little... Like reviews, game reviews, or something to that nature, or maybe even stream. Let's see. I think, I think I'm, I'm good to stream now. I think I can, I can pull it off. I have a good, good internet, internet connection. I have this set up. So let's give it this again. This is a test. And yeah, let's uh, record a, a few minutes and see how it turns out. So Megan Manix 4. <laughs> Um, as of, uh, as of late, I had, man, I can't concentrate if I talk. I actually d discovered, um, uh, game patching, and I found out that there's this patch for Mega Man X4 that does uh, a few things like like you heard in the intro it um, it puts back the original title track from the Japanese version of the game um, it adds Mega Man's voice so you can you can hear when he jumps the grunts he does when he jumps and he's hit or something. That's also what's happening with this patch. It's kind of cool. I never you see you, you heard that that grunt he did after the blast. So again, I wasn't aware, or I had not noticed, anyway. That 
that the US version of the game doesn't have these these you know sound effects his grunts and all that stuff I was not aware of that until like I said until I discovered that you can patch um, it's called ROM, ROM hacking to be to name it precisely for so ROM hacking I'm, I'm I just discovered that like not like two weeks ago I mean, I knew it existed, I just had no idea how to... I had no idea how to apply, um, how to hack the ROMs, right? So, I had to look it up, and, um... And yeah, I work with, I work with ROMs that I already had. And then, um, just proceeded to download those, uh, extra, extra programs you need to, to do it. It's really simple, super simple to, to apply these patches. And I thought it was really fun. And then when I saw this, um, this, this patch for this, for Mega Man X4, and I love this game, it's my favorite Mega Man. <laughs> I was like, whoa, let's see what this is about. So... So let's see, I need to focus here. To, to be able to get pa past this... Uh, or, or I died. Whatever. So again, um... So that, yeah, that's, that's what this is. That's what this patch is, so, anyway, um, so again, it's really cool. It's one of, the, one of those things where you're not gonna get this experience unless you patch or you apply this patch which you know for some it, it can be frowned upon I guess or I don't know maybe that's that's just my thought but anyway Okay, finally, I made it to the next level. I needed to get a rank A. And something else that is happening here is this uh, PlayStation 1 console where, where I am uh, playing this game is soft modded. So in other words, I'm playing a patched game off a CDR. On a console that does not have a, um, a mod chip. And the way you can do that is... Uh, last year in 2021, a really cool soft mod came out on the scene called Tony Hex. And what this allows is it is 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 it hijacks the console and it loads a program into it. It fools it and it completely. Acts, acts uh, region free and um, all the securities are, are are taken out of the console so you can play backups hence this um, this patched game that is recorded on a CDR and then uh, played on this console so it's it's actually really cool 
You, could, you heard the CD right there. Oh, and you heard that? It's like the original voices are, are there. Okay, let me focus. Damn it, I almost had it. This is exactly what I wanted. This setup right here. Because that way I can I can stream, which is really cool. That way I can stream my favorite PlayStation 1 games. Ooh, I forget that's not the pattern here. Again, let me focus. Shit. Damn it. Oh, shit. Let's give it another go. Okay, let's focus. We can do it. <laughs> Come on, Mega Man. Also, in this patch, the the text change it change the font. Sorry. It adds the voice, Japanese voice, and the text. Oh.
Shit. One more. There you go. Nice. Yeah, that's the pattern. You have to be patient. Awesome. When he throws the arrow, you zip and then you do a circle. And I just noticed that um, he throws like five or six, maybe like seven arrows. So towards the la to the la towards the last arrows, they they have a different pattern. So it's only the first three that are like very up close to you, but the other, the last three or four, um, they're easier to get away from. So nice. Override, yes. Continue, perfect. So let's check out this recording.